Welcome everyone, this is your boy Dryda Matoro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters of this YouTube channel. A big shout out to Crazy Boss V31, Weez GNZ Gaming, and even Moly Superman YT. Now these people are our YouTube members on our YouTube platform, and I would like to give a big shout out and thank you for their support. So why don't you go inside my description below and go check them out, and we're going to get straight into the video. Now this video is all about on how to create and code your own reaction role system inside your Discord bot. If you guys are new here, then go inside my description below and now click on the Discord link and that link will redirect you to my Discord server. Once you are inside my Discord server, go to the verified channel here and then now you can select the button over here. Once you're inside the server, then all you gotta do is go to the roles channel and now go to the drop down menu and select the download ping roll. Now the download ping roll will unlock the download category. So scroll down to the download category and go to the repellet fox channel. And now all you gotta do is go to the Discord version 13.2 handler. Select that button, but unfortunately I have already got one so I don't need to select it. Once you have selected the button, then all you gotta do is go to the config.json file and now complete the task in there with your token code and your MongoDB. MongoDB is a big must, so if you don't have MongoDB, then I will leave a tutorial video on how to connect your MongoDB inside your Discord bot. So once you have finished with that, okay, then all you gotta do now is that we're going to start installing the reaction role system. So let's get started. All you gotta do, okay, is go to the slash commands folder, right click on your slash commands folder and now create another folder and name that folder reaction line in the middle roll now nah, just roll then press enter now go back to my discord server now scroll up until you see the codes channel right over here now all you gotta do is go scroll up to the top, okay? Until you see step one. And here goes step one right over here. Now all you gotta do next is just copy this code over here, okay? And then, go back to repel it. And then now all you gotta do is go back to your reaction rolls folder and now right click and create another file and name that file add line in the middle and roll dot js press enter and now paste the code inside there now just a little error that I made make sure you go back to your uh, reaction roll folder and I right click and rename it. Make sure there's S at the end, okay? Once you have done that, then all you gotta do is go back to the Discord server. Now go to the second one, step two. Now, go and copy this code over here. copy that code over here and this code is the remove code then go back to repel it and now create another file and name that file 
Remove. Light in the middle. Roll. Dot JS. And now paste the code right there. Now go back to the Discord. And now scroll down. And now we are doing the last one. Now this one over here is panel. So copy this. Copy this code. Go back to repel it. And now go back to your reaction rolls folder. And I create another file and name that file panel.js. Now paste the code inside there. Now close your reaction rolls folder and even your slash commands folder. Now go to your models folder and now go back to your discord. Now next all you got to do is just copy this name over here and go back to repel it and now go to your models folder right click and then create another file and name that file reaction rolls.js then press enter go back to discord and I'll just copy this okay and go back to repel it and paste it there then that's all you gotta do close your models folder then go to your events folder then go to your interaction create.js file and now we need to do a few editing in here so go right down to the bottom over here now all you got to do next okay is go back to the discord scroll down and just copy this okay copy this code now this code is the reaction role handler now go back to repel it now once you're inside here okay um all you got to do next okay is just click over here okay where this mark is and i'll press enter once then press enter again and now paste the code right there and then all you got to do next okay is just delete this one over here and that's it now you have finished with that now there is a, still a few things that you got to do now number one okay is that you got to go to the discord and now read all this okay it will tell you everything about it but after that go back to your slash commands folder then go to your reaction roles folder and then now inside your panel when you scroll down it will say over here you can edit this embed for to whatever you like okay so you can edit the embed okay you can change the 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 description the title the color over here the image but i'm gonna leave everything as default okay so once you have finished installing all of your files okay and folders then now the last thing that we gotta do is run the bot and there you go we are connected now we're on our disk server so all you guys gotta do okay is to run the command now the command is the slash command and you gotta do panel and that is how you actually trigger the drop down menu now apparently we didn't add any roles into the database so i'll show you guys what it does see right now my bot is crashed the reason why it is crashed because there is no roles inside the database so if you do get this error that means there's no roles in a database there should be some roles in a database so let's go back to our repellent and now run the bot, bot again run it again now we need to add the roles into the database 
to add the roles into the database, we will need to do the command, okay? Do that and add. And then now uh, we're going to add the red roll. Then now we need to add a description. And we will say select a roll of your choice. Now to make this faster, okay? Just only copy this, okay? So you don't have to keep typing it. Copy it. Do that. And then I'll press tab. Then now you need to get a uh, emoji. Now let's find our uh, emoji. And now let's pick um, this one over here. Then press tab and then press enter. And there you go. We have created a new role into the database. Now let's do two more. Uh, add a new role. And let's do blue. The description is going to be the one that I copied. Wait, there you go. And now we're going to do emoji. Let's try another emoji. Let's try the, this one over here. Then press enter. And then there you go. Let's try one more. Then I'll add. Press enter. Now let's find a row. I will do giveaways. And then I'll add a description. Then paste it there. And then now add our emoji. And now go and grab your emoji somewhere else. Okay, any emoji. Then press tab. Then press enter. And then now there guys. Now to actually trigger the drop down menu, all you gotta do is do panel. Sorry, spelled it wrong. There you go. And now here he goes. Oh wait. Sorry. Uh, yeah. I forgot. You need to wait for a while. Because it is loading all of the data and it's loading all of the roles into the database. So yeah, I think you need to wait for about two minutes. Okay, let's yeah, let's just try that now. It should be done. There you guys. As you guys can see, it does work. And we have added one, two, three roles into the database. Now let's check this out. There we go. We got three roles inside our database. Now let's try these roles out, okay? I've got members and manager. So let's go and give myself a red role. There we go. Let's check. I've got a red roll. Now let, well, let's just give myself a blue roll. And there we go. Let's check that out. I've got a blue roll. Now let's see if I got a giveaway roll. And there we go. I've got a giveaway roll as well. Now the only problem about this is that these messages doesn't get deleted. So you will actually need to um, delete it manually. But if you want to remove the role, then you actually need to actually go away for about five minutes. But instead you can do it faster by exiting and now refresh and restart your Discord. And then go back and open Discord again. And then now you can remove the roles. And that's how you do it. So I'm waiting for the Discord to load up. And then go back to my Discord server over here. And now you can run the command again. Or let's try and see if we can see the if we can still use the same one. So yep, I've got red roll, blue and giveaway. Now let's use the same one, red. There you go, red has been removed. Try blue. Blue has been removed. And try giveaway. And I giveaway. Let's check, they're all been removed. So yeah, that does work and everything works. 
So I hope you guys do understand on how to do the reaction rolls, okay? It is very, very easy. But um, if you guys want to know how can you track down your database, then it's on your MongoDB, okay? Go and check that out. But yeah, if you guys do get stuck installing this, then just let me know in the comments. Or just let me know in my Discord server and I'll be more than welcome to help out on that. So, if you guys did enjoy this video, just smash the like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials. And I'll see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace and I'm out.